It's Fun Time Friday, hosted by Broke Girl Aesthetic, co-host Little Rockies Rustic. Links to their channels will be in the description box. I've got a haul today. Hello, friends. Welcome to Fun Time Friday. I have a haul of a few stores that I've been shopping in over the past few weeks. Trust me, this is not one just crazy shopping trip. This is many trips and I've been meaning to do a haul video and I just never did it, but I need to get this stuff organized and put away. It's literally been in bins in my garage and I'm actively trying to be a more organized person. So let's get into this haul so I can get this stuff put away. I'm gonna go in alphabetical order. So the first store, uh, Dollar General, I found really cute towel and pot holder set that says we whisk you a Merry Christmas and it has a little recipe card for some perfect hot cocoa this was two dollars really cute little red pom-poms on the bottom and it's got a green pot holder on the back super cute they had some really nice DIY wooden pieces three piece snowman set they're three-dimensional to where you can turn them and each side is like um, has like um, a different side to it the camera can really pick that up oh yeah you can you can see that so three wooden snowmen for a dollar fantastic deal and they had the same thing for these angels so I thought that was super cute I grabbed a pack of pre-made bows. <laughs> I'm not good at doing bows, so this is an awesome deal. And the last thing I grabbed at Dollar General was this really cute Ray Dunn style baking dish. Happiness is homemade. How cute is this? $10. And this is heavy. This is some nice stoneware, so... Wasn't going to pass that deal up, and I will definitely get some good use out of this, this holiday season. So, my next store is Dollar Tree. That's where I have the most from Dollar Tree. So, all right. I found some of the new Crafter Square wood planks, wood hanging plaques, I guess. is No, they're just calling these wood hanging decor um, I should have got my ruler so I could give you dimensions. It doesn't give it doesn't give a dimension, but um, they're all wood. Um, they're layers. It's the like late pressed layers of wood, but still, you know, stainable. I grabbed two of these, and then they had what they're calling um this is just a wood plaque the cutout i thought this was really cute and i'll probably use this for christmas they had a, a love sign too this was all crafter square uh, the 3d kits um this one is the house with a present candy canes a little glittery tree and then some wooden trees in the background I like these I found the nativity set that I had already DIY'd that um this is like they're kind of like Pinocchio like marionettes but not really you can hang them up on the wall and the arms and legs are movable so I grabbed a, a snowman and a Santa besides this elf and these are wood so these are stainable and I got a wooden wreath piece and then a piece box because I can't get enough piece. You know, Christmas is coming, so all about piece. I found some of their characters, which I was shocked because last year when they had the gnomes, the gnomes never came here. They never came to my area of South Florida. So when I saw these, I was like, oh. I have to get these i'll do something with these maybe i don't know so they have frosty and they have like beans or something it sounds like beans on the bottom but they do stand up on their own frosty girl elf boy elf 
and of course Santa with his buffalo check hat. I found pink poinsettias. I thought that was cute. I grabbed a couple of those. Um, some felt ornaments. Uh, the tree, the stocking. Got some foam angels. Probably use that with my, my little son to do some Christmas crafting. Got some more letters in green. I also got red. Um, some of these little pretend necklaces for some um, gingerbread house crafting. This is new, this tassel plaque. I thought this was really cute. Dream big, little one. This is so cute with this little tassel and I like this cloud. So I'll probably find something to, you know, make over this front into something or other. They have countdowns. I wasn't gonna pass this up. Grabbed the reindeer because that's what my little son wanted. And they're magnet, oh no, I'm sorry, I lied. They're not magnetic, it's Velcro, but still. So he can move it every day and count down. They had Santa and a snowman as well. I found uh, new jewel stickers in the Crafter Square area. Those are really pretty. They have multicolor, a little faceting on them. And these look like black lace. Look how pretty that is. That looks like black lace. Love it. Some more. They have different shades of pink and then a clear row. I really love using these gems. And more of these large stickers. I used some of these on a gingerbread house I did and it came out really cute. Really looks like candy on the top of the roof. Um, alphabet stickers. Felt garland. A frosty. Um, I got Santa. That must be in another bag. These wooden bells. These have a really nice thickness. So I thought this was worth the dollar. So I grabbed three of these to do something or other with some marbles, some colored marbles for some Christmas crafting. Uh, more of these chalkboard tags. I really like these wooden heart chalkboard tags to use as Christmas ornaments. Found some more of these. I like these mason jar thick signs to make over the front. Got some more puffy paint, the 3D paint. And, oh, these were an awesome find. I love these. Galvanized picture frames. And they have a little hanger in the back where you can hang them on the wall. But I think these would be really cute as Christmas ornaments because you could just put a little string there. And, you know, they have a dog here, but I would put, you know, my children and they had this like little scrolly shape and then the heart so I have four of these wooden sleds how cute are these love these I'm hopefully gonna do something with these in an upcoming video wooden cross can't get enough of their crosses. Purchased a lot of these crosses. Let's see. Let's move on to another bag. Ah, pins. I finally found the cylinder tins. Aren't these cute? And the top says save some cookies for Santa. I got three. I got one smaller one. This one has little gnomes on it saying gnome for the holidays. So I figured I could do um, something cute with you know the varying sizes, but finally, because I'm always seeing like the cardboard, but to actually see the metal ones that are more durable, I was very excited about that. 
and what is this? Oh, I grabbed two of these. I don't know where the other one is. A pumpkin tea light holder. It was giving me Mackenzie Childs vibes because of these diamonds, and I had planned to make them over, but um, I'm into my Christmas crafting now, and I just, I probably won't do anything else for fall, but um, I guess I'll save it for next year, or I don't know, but it is what it is. Gnomes. I didn't grab too many gnomes. Um, I got these for my family room because we'll be doing traditional Christmas colors in there and then in the dining area and our main living area, we're gonna have a like candy, like Christmas candy land, gingerbread type theme. But I like the little skis on these and the pole. I'm gonna have to hot glue that. The pole is in the bag. But they had two different styles of the skiing gnome one little striped hat and then one polka dot hat and the skis are felt it's cute for a dollar so and then i really like this like dangly leg i like these better than the ones they had last year these are cuter i love the stripe the gray the heather gray and the white and then they have like this deeper red almost burgundy stripe so I only grabbed like, what, five of these gnomes. And these little tree collars. I grabbed one of each. I do have some mini trees and I'm not sure if we're gonna use the mini tree, but I just grabbed these just in case, just to have them because they're metal, they're durable, and I'm sure I'll find something to do with them. They have this really nice ribbon this brand Offre. I love this pattern. It reminds me of chocolate. And since I'm, I've been doing a lot of gingerbread, I figured I would get some good use for this and I'll probably use this in one of my gingerbread DIYs. And I thought this one was really interesting. The pattern on that was very cool. So I don't, I've never heard of this brand before. I've never seen it. Um, but it was cute, so picked it up. And then, Dollar Tree is really shocking me. Really shocking me. Is that the same? No, these are different. They had Black Santa. I was like, what? Black Santa ornaments. I was shocked. I've been buying ornaments their Santa ornaments and painting them brown for the past couple of years so I can have a black Santa. Tell us we got a black Santa. Wow, shocked me, shocked me. Thank you Dollar Tree for being more inclusive of different skin tones. I really appreciate that. My children appreciate that. Okay, what else do we have from Dollar Tree? Oh, ornaments more ornaments and scarves. It's peppermint striped scarf. It's got glitter on it, unfortunately. I really wish it didn't have glitter, but I like the stripe and this will go somewhere in our little Candyland theme. And this one I thought was just so pretty. The tree on this. The pattern, the different, the different trees is just beautiful for a dollar. It's very thin. We only get the thin, you know, these very, very thin scarves that you could use actually as a table runner. We only get these in South Florida because we have no need for a thick flannel scarf. Gingerbread dolls. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was so excited to see this because I passed up the gingerbread dolls they had in Hobby Lobby. I'm so glad I did. <laughs> they have a boy and one of my other bags, I have the boy, where is, is this him? Nope, that's another girl. Another girl, where's the boy? Here's the boy. I got about five or six of these. And they have a light cinnamon smell to them. So cute. Like, they look like they could be like the little siblings of the ones that Hobby Lobby sells. I love it. 
So excited about those. Character ornaments. They have the licensed, my little guy, he wanted SpongeBob. And they are Nickelodeon. They're, they're fully licensed. He wanted Paw Patrol. And then I saw, oh, it broke. I'm gonna have to fix this ornament. The little birdhouse with the fake, you know, it's got a plastic pine cone top and a little, they notched it out, the little spot where the bird will go in. But I love the, the red and black buffalo check. And they had these thicker letter ornaments. Really nice thickness to them. So I grabbed a few of those. Um, these iridescent unicorns. Really pretty. Oh, hooks. Look at, finally, I've been waiting for these hooks to come to my area. They're metal. They're not super heavy, but perfect for an entryway. That's where I'm going to put it. And it comes with the screws. I grabbed like three or four of these. I'm going to use these in my entryway. You know, you can throw your keys on them. Um, oh, these wooden snowflakes. I have a DIY idea for these. So I thought this was really cute. Take them apart. Extension cord. Dollar Tree's got extension cords. The green ones. But these aren't for outdoor use. Yeah, you can only use these and it doesn't have the um, three prong. You can't use a three prong plug with this, only the double prong. But it's an extension cord, so. Have plenty of stuff to plug in once we start decorating for Christmas, so extra extension cords are always needed. Okay, some more inclusive decor. They have little black children on an ornament. Oh, Dollar Tree. So cute. Brother and sister building a snowman. Had to buy it, saw some little black children. I just had to buy it. Drying mat. I'm really digging the black and white buffalo check for fall. So I was happy to find that. Cute little sign, good tidings of comfort and joy. Totally easy to remake. Has these nice wooden beads on top. It's got glitter, you know, they're notorious with the glitter, but this can be taken apart and made over. This, I thought this was so cute. A little bottle with faux snow. It's got a little acorn in there and a little bottle brush tree. It's cute to pop into a tear tray. That was a shock to find. I grabbed some lighting, a couple of peppermint LED lights, and then the multicolor wired fairy lights. I love fairy lights. I love all the lights. They I can't get enough of the Dollar Tree lights. The candles, the LEDs, the color change lights, I love them all, love them. Okay, what else do we have from Dollar Tree? Oh, oh, I forgot about this. I found the little Crafter Square hot glue gun. Oh my gosh. I, I need to plug this in and actually try to craft with this and see how well it works. I will. Uh, when I do some crafting tomorrow, I'm gonna open this up and then I will give a review of it at the end of whatever video I use this in. So I figured, you know what? I can use it as a backup when my main hot glue gun goes out just, you know, to have something to use to craft with. But, you know, it's a $1 hot glue gun, so it probably will leak and hopefully it doesn't overheat <laughs> and spark with. There probably will be glue leakage, but um, it doesn't. Oh, it does. It has a little stand. It has a little metal piece there, a stand. So it says trigger fed glue gun, simple, easy to use. 
we shall see, Crafter Square. I'm gonna give this a try. I grabbed some more gingham ribbon. Pink, orange, and green. I love my gingham ribbon. Um, I don't remember. Oh, got a little trinket tray. It's a little reindeer with golden antlers. I recently <laughs> discovered that the trinket trays fit on top of the Dollar Tree mugs. So you have a mug topper. Like, I don't know, I guess I'm late to the party, but I just, I just found that out. Uh, what else is from Dollar Tree? Two more Dollar Tree bags. Three more Dollar Tree bags. Okay. Oh, here's the rest of my hanger. This is my wooden, this is the wooden uh, Frosty. That's what he's looking like. Round belly and he's got boots. Are those boots? Yeah, they put boots on him. So, got a sustainable Frosty. Another wooden sled. I think they have three different styles of sleds. A wooden camper. Santa in the window. Fabric. I love their fabric. I found quite a bit of fabric. All their fabric uh, sizes are 20 by 21. So this one is uh, a bunch of gnomes. So we can't see that. Oh. Gnomes. Um, peppermint stripe with little green. This is just holly and candy canes. Um, what is this? This is like very cartoonish, like a um, comic strip panel of like reindeer, little reindeer in the window and trees. And then this one is the little red truck. Well, you know, I guess it would help if I just unrolled it, wouldn't it? That's cute, little red truck in the snow. Uh, oh, more ribbon. Holly with berries and another pack of that Offre. It's the Monstera leaves. Very tropical. I'm sure I'll get good use out of this next year in the springtime, summertime. Here is the Santa. That's what the Santa Claus looks like. Cute little face. Oh, and here's my Santa Claus garland. So there's six pieces that comes on the garland. Cute, it's all felt. All right. Move this along. Uh oh, I'm not skipping over a bag. Okay. I can't believe I bought this much stuff. I've accumulated this much stuff. Um, oh, here's some acorns. I totally forgot I even bought this. Uh, another 3D craft kit. This one has Xmas, um, Santa, some candy canes, and some trees. Color change tea lights. I love them. They have some really beautiful galvanized hanging plaques. Christmas tree. I love it. I love it. I love the galvanized metal. So pretty. For me, you could use it for rustic. You could use it for glam because it's shiny. It looks like it might be textured, but it's not. It's nice and smooth. I love the organized metal. I love the hanging plot. I'll find something to do. Oh, I'll, more than likely, I'll probably use both of those. Oh, okay, this is my last Dollar Tree bag. Oh, all the Okay. The reversible sign one says one side says baking spirits bright and then the other is eat drink and be merry i'm glad they're doing this reversible decor 
Got some more Christmas cards. Three wise men. Uh, more ornaments. PJ Masks. My little son loves PJ Masks. Found some ice skates. Black and white buffalo plaid and a really pretty tartan. I grabbed a couple of those. A um, couple more of the alphabet ornaments. Another birdhouse. Some of these mirror ball. I, always, I never put those on my tree. I, I use them just for the mirror because I take the mirror off and I craft with the mirror because <laughs> it's cheaper than buying them from Amazon. More peace. I love the peace ornaments and I believe the snowflakes. Okay, and... This is the last Dollar Tree that, no, this isn't Dollar Tree. That's it for Dollar Tree. That's it for Dollar Tree. Okay, so um, move on to Family Dollar. Okay, so Family Dollar and Dollar Tree are like sister stores. They're somehow affiliated. Some of the Family Dollars here have that Dollar Stop sign in the window. I found Black Elves. This is another thing that I was having to paint and make over were the, the Dollar Tree Elves. And they finally brought out Black Elves last year and they sold out. I bought some when I first saw them on the Dollar Tree website, I bought them. And then when I went back to buy some more, sold out. Absolutely sold out. So they have these at the Family Dollar. And these are the same ones that they have on the Dollar Tree website. They did change up the, the boys' outfit. And they changed the girls' hair. Because last year, she didn't have ponytails. Oh, we match. We both have ponytails. Now they gave her some little, like, flat felt ponytails. All the, all the girl elves have, like, just generic got some little puffy I guess they're supposed to be afro puffs but they didn't used to have afro puffs they had nothing it was just like the boy so that was exciting to find at the family dollar um what else did we get at the family Dollar? oh we got an elf topper for um our small tree so this will be the family room. We'll have our traditional Christmas colors in there. Okay, so now it's time for Hobby Lobby. So a lot of this is from the clearance area because I really didn't find too much in the Christmas area. After Christmas last year, I found a lot of things that I knew that I was be using for this year's theme of our Christmas Candyland gingerbread type thing. So it was a lot of the stuff that I saw was a repeat and they they were still stocking the shelves. So I haven't been back in like two weeks to Hobby Lobby. So they might have more. I don't know. But this was in the clearance area. These are garlands from the springtime. This like ticking type a stripe but they're in these cute pastels just perfect for my Candyland Christmas theme they're six feet tall these were a dollar 49 originally 14.99 so that was a fantastic deal so I might put those little gingerbread dolls that I got at Dollar Tree I might put them on this garland or maybe this will go on the tree it might go on the sideboard I don't know but we'll definitely use it little gingerbread men these were the only ones they had but luckily I did find the blank gingerbread men at Dollar Tree after <laughs> I went to Hobby Lobby, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, these $4.99 and then they were 40% off. 
And then I found this um, lemon. This was 87 cents, a lemon stencil. And uh, what are these? I figured I could do some kind of bohemian type DIY with these or they probably were like jewelry making, like some earrings, like so tortoise shell with the tassel. And my second bag. I got like paper crafting. That was like the main Christmas stuff that I got from there. Cause I was really looking for more stamps. And I found a couple of packs of nice stamps with tags. Really cute stamps. These were $6.99 with 40% off. Were these 40%? Yeah, they were. These were 40% because the signs were they had to at least be $5.99. And then this pack. Or maybe they want, I don't know, I don't know. It was a good deal. Either way, it was a really good deal because this is a, these are nice packs of stamps. And then, the rest of this, I believe, is in the parents' area. These little plates, um, 29 cents for these saucers. 29 cents. This was um, from the springtime, just this farmhouse. But I found some of the Dolly Parton little saucers. I got two of those bigger ones. I thought these would make a really cute small tear tray. Okay, yeah, this is one of the Dolly Parton. This is another Dolly Parton. Okay. And all of hers have little raised design. This one is the butterfly. And then that's just a floral. I thought these are really cute. Less than a dollar. Less than a dollar, Dolly Parton. Okay, so I got a little pack of beads for some, uh, I think these are glass beads, and then there's like a little culture pearl. This was $1.24 in the clearance. This was uh, $1.19. Don't quit your daydream. I love the shape of this. I love this, the ceramic. And you can hang it on the wall. It's got the little notch to hang it, but I um, figured I could put some vinyl over this and just make this over into, you know, whatever type of pour. And then there was another one that was just a rectangle. Three letters. One choice, no regret, no regrets. Uh, this is 119. And this one I actually could do some reversible decor on this one. And this one will just, you know, I could just like sit it up somewhere. But that will do it for Hobby Lobby. go to Target. What did I get from Target? Okay, let's start with this. This is a fill your own glass snow globe. Really pretty. This was $5. I was hoping that I would find the um, 
little ceramic and glass gumball machine. I have yet to find that. But we did find this. And I was very shocked. Very shocked. We were walking through the wonder the wonder shop area and it wasn't even fully set up so I didn't even bother taking any footage I'll have to go back because I want to do a full walkthrough of all the new ornaments and everything they have but I was really uh, surprised that I found this tear tray this one was five and a dollar spot nice clean simple tear tray tear shelf whatever you want to call it and then I found a cabbage patch. Oh, oh my gosh. Take me back to childhood. What, what? I got my throwback hairdo. And again, throwback toy. I don't have a daughter. And this is not for my nieces. This is for me. This is this will be in my Christmas decor somewhere. I will stick this cabbage patch doll in. This is total nostalgia for me. Total nostalgia. And it looks like the maybe the thumb can go in the mouth. It looks like it might be a thumb sucker. I don't know. It looks like it. Uh, this doll's name is Tinsley Holiday. And they are called the Holiday Helpers. Decked out in their red and green like little elves. And look at the little hat. I love it. I love it. <sighs> okay, so that's it for me. I gotta put all this stuff away. Oh no, I lied, that's not it. I lied. I also got this pack of risers. Three risers for $5 at Target. I forgot about Walmart, I'm sorry. I thought I was done, I'm sorry. I only have two items. Okay, I'll start with my item. I picked one thing and I let my, my younger son pick something. The older son, he couldn't be bothered. He's just like, he couldn't be bothered. I finally found one of these. I love these. I passed them up last year and then when I went back to the store to get it, they were all gone. I love this. It's so pretty. A little glitter going around the church and the little snowy trees. This was uh, $9.99. I love it. Looks like an old-fashioned lantern. And then my little guy, he is a train fanatic. And of course, he found something with the train. I thought it was just a roller coaster. He goes, oh no, the train, I want the train. I thought it's not a train, it's a roller coaster. The child was right little train and the little train cars behind it that has the L. <laughs> it's a train. <laughs> it's a roller coaster train. <laughs> oh. I'm sure it'll drive us crazy. He's going to be pressing it all the time, but he loves trains. I hope you have enjoyed this haul. I haven't done a haul in a really long time. Uh, I don't plan on hauling anything else for the rest of the year. Just, you know, Christmas gift shopping. But I hope you've enjoyed my haul and all the items that I found. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. I love you guys. Thank you to everyone that has been supporting my channel, that has been watching my videos. I am so grateful to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And enjoy the playlist. It's Fun Time Friday, so it's whatever the creator wants to create. Just go through the playlist, enjoy, have a good time. God bless you.